Stinging in my chest rumble like bumblebees that I have not swallowed. My cracked rib cage couldn't contain what is locked inside of them. They are, were all but quiet. These cages rang like broken wind chimes. They rang crooked when people touched them unnaturally. My rib cage was supposed to protect what's inside, yet the bars let something seep in and out like sand through sieve. Mice through cracks, a lover's hand cocked open, jaws of life grabbing, squeezing a thing still beating, a still thing supposed to be beating. I visit a doctor bleeding to see what is wrong with these heart palpitations, a serious condition as I am waiting patiently as my heart strikes my chest, striking the walls and inner linings like a prisoner's mug against his cell. Diagnosis comes in, charts and graphs of this saying I've shattered myself into pieces, unable to reconstruct. Bruised and broken, veins stopped pumping a while ago, arteries won't run, blood pressure lower than gravity itself, and it's a surprise that I'm even alive. How did you even get here? Oh. My heart was not broken, it was stabbed. Sliced with a butter knife of lies, vicious oh. and While I was sleeping, the scars came in the form of text messages and sorry phone calls gagged me from calling out for help. The heart kept beating because there was a rib cage to keep it alive. If the holes were any bigger, I might have not survived, telling me to keep going. I've forgiven too many times, regardless of being stepped over or stepped on. You are too nice, Vache. You are so kind, Vache. I wouldn't have done the same in my position or my situation. Let me give you some advice. Friends whisper into the rib cage constantly like guards that didn't act like sentries, but let sentries pass through their mouth only instead of their actions. And I wonder how Stockholm Syndrome can feel so damn comfortable. A recent study has come out in a scientific journal that a simple aspirin can cure heartache, a breakup. I can tell you one thing that is true at this stage, oh, on this mic, there is no pill in this world that can fix damage. It was never a break up, but a break apart. Mm. Torn down, shredded like I'm your chew toy, I'm your waist back skit, I'm your, your shit. Like aspirin is only a temporary <laughs> band-aid. <laughs> there is malicious intent when the safety was left off. When you pulled the trigger, Cupid, you sincerely fucked up. And I'm coming back with a fucking vengeance. This full of arrows, ribcage burst open, dripped in my own blood, face beaten from falling over too many times for the same girl, mouth gone dry from too many conversation starts. I am standing for no more one night stands. I am here to give you a different kind of medicine. Love is not about the fucking heart, it's about the ribcage. My ribcage will balloon open as my lungs fill with love. Because her mind, every time my new lover mouth, lover's mouth breathes words into existence, I am given samples of oxygen. Her passion lies perpendicular with my own and collide with her energy. And drive that go, drive so far that goes Mach 2 on runways around my bones, no amounts of caffeine adrenaline dates, or Tinder profile swipes, <laughs> awkward conversations about family trees and who falls where. I want to be in love, make it an action other than falling, because when I'm with a girl of my dreams, I'll be fucking flying so high that Dumbo will be fucking jealous. <laughs> you think I'm levitating every time I'm with her. I kiss her on the forehead rather than on her hand. I'll listen to her speak rather than speak about myself. I love her mind, body, and soul because she is human. Her heart beats like mine and it's protected by a rib cage that's sensitive. Has holes where, that, where people can seep in. But I promise to protect everything, even her rib cage. And she'll protect my broken one. Because she understands simply, because she understands, we all start with holes. Oh. Woo.